Welcome back to Vice Grip Lodge. Today we've got a long day ahead of us because we've got to turn this, I don't know, four or five foot grass, all of that, into something like this back here. Eventually a guy wants to be able to mow it like this here. Guy can't just run the mower through it. It would probably do it, but it's not what it's made for. But I've got just the machine, the Swisher rough cut mower. We're going to hook that up behind the subcompact tractor and let's see how this thing does out here. So again we're going to be using the Swisher Brush King here which is a pull behind rough cut mower and it's got basically five different height settings. Pretty much anything you can run over with your tow rig this is going to chew it up and just turn it into mulch. It has a two inch ball on it and it's designed to be pulled behind like uh, ATV, UTV, stuff like that, side by side, whatever, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. We're going to be using this little subcompact tractor. This is the replacement to the GT500. We sold that and a whole horde of other riding mowers and push mowers and yard equipment and put it all together and grabbed this guy. It's been really good so far. It's very low hours. It's old. It's like a 2014 or something. I guess old as far as tractors go, but it's only got 600 hours. If you want to see more on this, let me know. We'll do a full walk around. It does need some maintenance and other things. But I put a little draw bar hitch on it. This isn't ideal. This is more so made for pin hitches. But since that has a ball hitch with the lock, this is going to pull it. It's going to roll a little bit, but it's already got limiters and everything in here that we need. So this should work. We're just going to have to figure out the speed basically at which we can pull and I've already got a drop to the lowest setting out there. There's not a ton of big brush or anything like that. It's just patches of like four and five feet tall grass, reeds, vines and weeds and stuff like that. So that's why I've got it dropped all the way down. We should be able to move at a pretty good clip too. But first I'm going to use this hitch because it's got 119 or million settings and I'm going to kick it out behind me. So we could follow the tree line because I've got trees that go around the property. We could really dig this thing in there, you know, and hopefully pull out a lot of those sticks and small limbs, trunks. I don't know. The other things that isn't the main thing to the tree and stuff. Run over a bunch of that. And the plan is once we get everything mowed down with this machine, we'll let it sit for 104 hours. Then we'll come back over with the 66 inch zero turn and the pull behind deck and mow it up all real nice and the goal is to make that chunk of the property look like a big yard this little guy is powered by yanmar diesel so uh -oh. i don't even know how to run this thing yet there we go there we go I'm going to show you a couple examples of what I'm talking about on this tree line. I'm starting to mow some of this with the zero turn that hasn't been mowed before, but guy can't get way up in here, you know. It's just not a thing. But with that brush mower swung out, I can drag it all through here. And all these, this stuff here, no problem. It's going to eat this up really, really easy. Then I can get back in here and start trimming these trees back like they should be. The tree line is actually, I don't know, 10 feet back there. Even this one here, that's not gonna be a problem if I can get it in far enough to grab it and run it over. And then we can get this pushed back. Look how much farther back it goes. So all of this in here, guy could potentially clean up this stuff back here, piece of cake. Another great example right in here. You can see where guy's bringing the mower up, but then it gets really rough and there's some rocks and things like that back in here. Well, that brush mower doesn't sit that low and it's got those big air-filled tires. So a guy can just scoop out in here, run over all this stuff, including this guy. That won't be a problem, just let her lay. And then we'll finally see what's underneath of this and maybe a guy can get back up into the fence here 
Got the rig set up with it offset here. So you can kind of see that. And another reason I might try to do it this way first is if we run everything down and mat it down with the wheels and we're pulling directly behind, kind of think of it like a hay conditioner if you're a farmer rancher feller. So basically we just got to take the controls here. We're going to throw them up in the tractor. And we'll have our key start, throttle and choke, and then you just pop this out for the PTO. So we can run the whole machine sitting right up there in the seat. And I'm just going to probably tuck this in here and pin this back down. All right, let's fire that Kawasaki up. Get some choke. That easy. And for the PTO, there we go. So I'm gonna run through here first, see if we can dig some of this out, get some more room. That big tree branch. No problem. That's coming up. Well, you can clearly see the path we're making through here and all these little trees is just eating them up like nothing that is so helpful it saves so much time i think i can easily come back through here probably another four or five paths and get way back in because again the tree row is gosh 15 feet back there maybe the problem i'm having now is my roll cage on the old tractors really digging into some of these limbs but I wanted to show you this quick it has all these guards on here so you don't have to worry about dragging it through that stuff see this it protects the battery and all that fuel tanks protected it's not gonna hurt it it's exactly what they build them for Moses sandals what kind of a thorny feller is this ouch 
But man, this is working really good. Now, we just gotta keep going down the tree row and going and going and going and going. Take this guy out here too. Like nothing. Came up and unhooked that bucket quick because it was banging around pretty good. And yeah, I'm also throw some fuel in here and uh, wet the back neck and you know all that stuff. I still got about half a tank actually. Well, the guy does think I'm gonna shut it down here for tonight. Sun's going down, but mostest of all, I don't have any gasoline left. I'm out. Used all the jugs. Still got a lot left, but. We'll save on that for tomorrow or the next day. The Brush King's doing an awesome job. Little tractor did great today too. Didn't get hot or anything like that. And that Yanmar diesel just sips on the fuel, which is great. So thanks guys for watching. Appreciate you. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.